Hello Virgo, and this is Renee, and welcome back. Virgo, this is going to be your love reading for February. So let's see what's happening for Virgo in love. First, we're going to start with some oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the tarot and dive a little deeper. So Virgo, what's going on for Virgo spirit? for February in love. We have allow unlimited abundance. Wow, beautiful energy, Virgo. Let's see what else is going on. Let's pull some more cards. I feel like you're waiting on something, Virgo. Let's see. Let's get some messages for Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. If you have Virgo anywhere in your charts, this reading is for you. What do we have for Virgo spirit and love? Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. So I feel like it's very important for you to trust what is coming in what is being prepared for you virgo i feel like it's very important for you to trust in yourself and trust in spirit that it's leading you in the right direction we also have regrets so i feel like there may be some regrets that you're having you may be there may be some things that you need to release from the past i know that i cannot change the past so, yeah, there's no need to have regrets for the past. The past is done and over with, Virgo. <coughs> Excuse me. At the bottom of the deck, we have peace. So, I feel like that's what you're in search of, Virgo. You're in search of peace, peace of mind, um, just tran tranquility in general I feel like maybe things have been going on and you're like searching for that peaceful place that you're able to relax and just recover um, I'm being I'm <laughs> I can't even speak I am a being of love and I release all negative energy so definitely releasing that negative energy is going to make a huge difference for you Virgo, I feel like I feel like what you're waiting on, whatever you're waiting on, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. But first, there may be a clearing that you have to do. You may need to release things from your life so that good things can come in its place. As you release the negativity, watch how positive things start to happen. Watch how positive outcomes start to come your way. Let's get more messages for Virgo. What do we have for Virgo spirit? Definitely the King of Cups. So if you're in, in search of love, I feel like this King of Cups is coming in you know this may be a uh, Scorpio um, Cancer or Pisces it doesn't have to be uh, it could be someone who's coming in who's very loving caring someone who's very nurturing someone who's also very supportive I feel like at this moment you're looking for that peaceful loving place where you can feel um, the nurturing, the support, you know, you also have the devil. So I feel like there are things that are blocking you. Definitely. There's some kind of block going on here. And I feel like that's this negative energy that you need to release. That's some kind of drama, some kind of conflict. Something is blocking your path. Virgo and I feel like this is something that really needs to be released you need to focus on this energy to turn this into positive energy you uh, may want to look into meditation uh, look at introspection you know looking within 
gaining your wisdom and your clarity, finding that peaceful spot where you can really dive deep into your emotions so that you can release whatever this is that's blocking you. Because I definitely feel like this is blocking. The devil is blocking the King of Cups from coming in. So this blockage is stopping this King of Cups. So if you're open to love, Virgo, you want to remove this block so this love can come in. And I feel like once you do that, this is going to flow right into your life. This is coming, you know, but I feel like you need to be open for it. Yeah, we have the death card. What is going on with you, Virgo? I feel like you're 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 going to be removing this block, but I feel like there's a lot of changes going on in your life. I feel like this is a lot of change coming forward for you. This is total transformation from um, where you're currently at. You're transforming things. You're making a more positive outcome because you're letting something go. Something had to be let go of. Something had to die in order for this to come through. And I, you know, I'm not literally saying that someone had to die, but I'm literally saying that you had to release something from your life in order for these changes to happen. And I feel like, Virgo, this is a total transformation for you. This is very beautiful energy because this, this is you removing whatever is blocking you and pushing past the situation, making a total transformation, bringing in a lot of change. The death card is just big changes. It's beginnings after maybe hard endings there may be something that's very hard for you to remove um, but i feel like it's very vital for whatever you're going through i feel like it's time to move on it's time to let these things go okay what else do we have yes the knight of cups so yeah, once you're going through this transformation, I feel like then the King of Cups is going to make his offer. The King of Cups is going to come in and offer you some kind of, of invitation. Because I feel like he sees the changes that you're going through. He sees everything that you've been through. And I feel like you're kind of opening up to these changes that are being made. Um, but I feel like this invitation is going to bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. Remember, we have that abundance card in the beginning. So I feel like this is a very good reading. You just have to follow through. You have the king, excuse me, the ace of swords. Now the ace of swords is coming in right below the king of cups. So I feel like this ace is telling you that a lot of things are going to be revealed. You're going to gain a lot of wisdom about the situation. I also feel like this is a lot of communication between you and this King of Cups. This is you communicating. And I feel like this King of Cups has so much to say. So much to offer. And, you know, the King of Cups, he's very supportive. He's very loving. He's a loving leader, you know. Um, he has a lot of patience, a lot of tolerance, and he can definitely feel where you're coming from. You know, he has a lot of emotions, but he knows how to control his emotions very well. Um, so this could be male or female. It doesn't matter. A male or female can take on the characteristics of a King of Cups. But I feel like this is bringing you a lot of wisdom. You're going to make some breakthroughs during the month of February. Okay. We have the Hermit card. Yes, definitely. The Hermit card is coming in right underneath the devil. So I feel like with this Hermit, you're gaining clarity. There are things that you're releasing. Because look, the Hermit card, he's following his path. He's being led on his path by his wisdom, by his clarity. 
Um, he's following the universe's direction, but he's following that with the star inside his lantern. So he's being led by his healing. Um, he's being led by his recovery. You know, and I feel like as you go on along your journey, you're getting this total different perspective that's removing this block. This could be also you letting go of those limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Um, maybe also letting go of the negative talk. You know, the things we say to ourselves are very important. We always think about what we say to others. You know, always be kind to others. But we always need to be kind to ourselves as well. Because sometimes we can be our own worst judge. So I think that's very important for you, Virgo, to speak kindness to yourself as you go along your journey. Okay, we also have the Emperor. Oh my gosh, I love this reading already. Okay, um, Virgo, this is you taking back your power. During this transformation, you're becoming more powerful. You're becoming more bold, more caring, more giving. The emperor is also a great leader. He leads with his thoughts, his mind, and his intuition. And he's also a very good manifester. He can manifest anything his heart desires because he knows where the universe is leading him. And he knows how to follow with trust. Using his instinct alone, he can manifest whatever he wants. So I feel like this Emperor card is making you very powerful. And I feel like this King of Cups energy, I feel like this King of Cups is seeing that energy. And I feel like that King of Cups is, is being drawn to the Emperor energy. You know, I feel like... This is you taking control, taking the reins back, you know. You have your pure focus. Definitely, I'm loving this, Virgo. And you have your healing. You have found that tranquil place, that harmony. So you're gaining your balance. You're gaining your healing. You're finding your place. And I feel like in this reading, I feel like with the temperance underneath the Knight of Cups, I feel like this is like a delivery. This is something being delivered to you. I feel like someone is boosting your confidence. Someone is feeding into your ego. Um, someone's telling you how wonderful you truly are. And I feel like you're able to accept that information with love and kindness. Um, beautiful energy, Virgo. I'm really liking this. Okay, we have the Nine of Pentacles. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So, a lot of happiness. A lot of abund abundance is coming forward for you. Now, abundan abundance doesn't always have to be money. But it can be. So, you could be in line for huge abundance coming in. You could be getting some kind of information on some money that's coming into you. Some kind of wealth. Some kind of um, inheritance. or And I feel like this is, this is a large amount of money. This is something that's going to make you set. Hmm. Have you been playing the lottery? Um, have you been putting in your numbers or actively investing? But something's bringing in a lot of abundance. For some of you, this is love. This is family. This is also good health. Um, but I feel like a very few of you, this is something much greater spirit give me a message for virgo the moon i feel like this is mysteries unfolding the moon is also very feminine energy so i feel like with this moon energy i feel like these are voluntary changes that you've made this is you moving into this 
new period of your life. Kind of moving into the unknown. Um, trusting in your intuition. Beautiful. Let's see what else do we have? The King of Swords. Okay, you know, there may be more than one person coming into your life, but I feel like this is bringing you a lot of clarity. This King of Swords is bringing truth, guidance, intelligent action. Um, the King, he also tells it like it is. You know, he doesn't hold anything back. Sometimes his sword can cut like a knife. But I feel like he has good intentions. He's speaking wisdom and bringing his in intellect into the picture. You know, the, the King of Swords, he normally follows with his mind and lets his heart, his heart follow. You know, <clears throat> and I feel like this could be something that's Can bring you a lot of clarity to your situation this king of swords this could be the same person as the king of cups but i feel like this is another person i because i get a totally different vibe from this king of swords i get a totally different energy from him so i feel like there could be two people who are very interested in you there may be two offers coming through See, we have the Six of Swords. Wow, okay. So this is you moving into a more tranquil, peaceful place. Um, I feel like you're moving away from the chaos. You're moving away from the, the drama. You may be literally moving from a big city to a smaller city, you know, because I feel like you're moving away from all of the chaos. Um, <clears throat> Very interesting, Virgo. Let's get some more messages. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So definitely love coming through for you. I feel like this is going to make your love runneth over. You know, this is a lot of emotion, a lot of um, love that's coming through. But this love is at the beginning stages. This is brand new. This is something that is just starting. So um, if you have already met this person, this may be a new beginning with this person or some kind of new outlook. Maybe you think differently about this person. Um, maybe you're going from just dating to being more serious. But I feel like this, this Ace of Cups is new energy. This is a new feeling that you're exploring. Um, but it's definitely love coming through for you. We have the Five of Swords. So with the Five of Swords situation, I feel like this is you kind of holding something back from this person. I feel like you're not giving your all. Um, or this person may have some kind of commitment issues. They may have an attitude towards it like, like they want to test the waters before they really take the leap. You know what I mean? Um, but I feel like this has you kind of on edge. I'm getting a lot, a lot of messages for this reading, Virgo. A lot of emotions, a lot of energy is coming through. This could also be a misunderstanding between you and this person. So I feel like for some of you, this is a misunderstanding that needs to be cleared up before you go any further. Maybe this person didn't tell you the whole story or you didn't tell them the whole story. 
Um, but I feel like there's some kind of misunderstanding that needs to be resolved. Okay, we have the magician. Well, I do feel like this is a creation made in heaven. You know, you're creating something. You're bringing down something from reality. Into reality, I should say. You're, you're manifesting this. You're manifesting this energy with this person. Interesting. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. So I feel like this is very fast energy. This King of, excuse me, Knight of Swords is very fast energy. I feel like it's a lot of movement. Um, I feel like this person is maybe traveling to see you. I feel like they're on the road. They're moving fast. They may be on a plane or a train. Um, but I do feel like this person is moving fast to come and see you. I feel like if this is communication, this is also you talking a lot. Having a lot of communication. Spending long hours in communication. This could be over the phone. This could be over text, DM, email. But I feel like this is a lot of communication. Very interesting. We have the Four of Swords. We're going from the Five of Swords to the Four of Swords. So I feel like whatever this energy is, whatever this misunderstanding is, I feel like it's definitely going to be resolved. You're finding closure with this misunderstanding. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is resting after a long journey. Maybe you had to travel a long ways and now you really need your rest to kind of recover from your travel. Maybe you spent a long hours on a train or long hours on a plane. But I'm really getting travel. Resting after some kind of travel with this Four of Swords. Okay, we have the Two of Cups. So this, this reading is just so interesting. Oh my gosh. Virgo. I feel like this is you and this person. You're on this mutual page. You're kind of feeling the same feelings. You're feeling the same emotions. Um, you're really digging each other. You're really attracted to each other. And I feel like this is you coming into union. And I feel like this union kind of... Kind of sort of happens overnight. Like love at first sight kind of situation. It's very interesting. We also have the page of wands. So I feel like with this page of wands energy. I feel like this is your person really communicating. If you notice the page of wands. He has his ear to the sky. As he listens to those birds speaking. Speaking to him. And I feel like this is someone speaking to you in your ear. This is someone giving you good vibrations in your ear you know someone who's taking a lot of time I feel like you're saying those words that both of you want to hear um, let's get some love cards for you and your person and some already wanted to fall out of course okay for you we have new beginning a new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Like I said, a lot of abundance coming for you. This is love. This is a new journey. New passion. Um, the excitement of getting to know somebody. You know? This person may be a lot like you. 
you may be mirroring each other but I feel like this person is a lot like you I feel like you see a lot of your qualities in them and I feel like you may also see a lot of your flaws in them beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally so the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection so yeah you and this person could be a lot alike you could be seeing this person kind of as your soulmate twin you know let's get some energy for uh, for your person energy for your person please we'll take this one Okay, we have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Just let the energy flow. Don't try to force anything. Just let it take its natural time, you know, to grow and expand, to evolve like it's supposed to. Don't try to force any situation. Don't move too hastily, you know. Don't move too fast in your situation because I feel like you know things can happen when you move too fast and then you know it all explodes later so take your time figure each other out okay for the, your person we also have life is a series of constantly shifting cycles when you resist excuse me when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow and you will be surprised where it leads. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling. Go with the flow of the situation. Let it let it take its natural course. You know, don't try to force something um, because love grows. It don't just develop right there. Love grows. We also have secret admirer. So that may be the king of swords energy that I that I was feeling. That totally different energy that was coming through. You may also have a secret admirer, Virgo. Someone who has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So I feel like, you know, that situation is there. There is someone who cares about you that maybe you're not really seeing. Maybe you don't notice, but yeah, there's there's some kind of secret admirer kind of looming in the background. I feel like that's that King of Swords energy. Okay, Spirit, give me another message for Virgo. What's going on with Virgo, please? Abundance. Now, this is the third time we got this abundance. So there's definitely some positive change that's going to flow into your life that's going to bring you abundance this may be money coming in like i said i feel like this may be a large amount of money keep a positive mindset my i cannot talk <laughs> i am so sorry virgo keep a positive mindset manifest exactly what you want gratitude and bliss so i feel like there's a lot of abundance coming in for you virgo something is going to surprise you i feel like this is something that you're not expecting for your person we have reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past and make memories i feel like this person is drawn to you this person is focusing on making memories because I feel like this person really is very attracted to you. They want to be a part of your life. I feel like, like I said, I feel like this is like love at first sight kind of situation because um, <clears throat> as much as, you know, you want love to grow, I feel like this person, spirit is letting them know to slow down because I feel like they're like, moving at, at drastic speed they're like moving at this lightning pace with this knight of swords energy um 
I feel like that's why spirit is letting him know to slow down, let nature take its course, go with the flow. Because this person sees you and they're like excited. They're like overwhelmed. Um, yeah, we have lightning on the bottom. Look at this. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, I, I feel like this person is moving at lightning speed, you know. Uh, there's a lot of changes going on and I feel like they are moving really fast to these changes. I'm going to get another deck to clarify because I want to know more about this situation. Okay, Spirit, give me more messages for Virgo. What is this? Who is this person? Who is this King of Cups? Who is this new love interest? Tell me more. The Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords twice. So I feel like this is a lot of communication coming in for you. This is a breakthrough. This is something that is going to bring you so much clarity. So many new ideas. Um, and I feel like it's kind of breaking through old beliefs. If you had problems in your past with love or whatever, I feel like this is totally breaking down those old beliefs and creating new ones in it in its way um this is going to bring you a lot of love a lot of passion a lot of renewal yes definitely we have the five of cups there's definitely something that you're letting go of and i feel like that's this devil energy that you're letting go of you're moving through this into a new I want to say that you're moving through this into a new part of your life. You know, this is big changes coming through. I feel like you're not really focusing on what you've lost. You're focusing on what will be. You're focusing on the two cups behind you. You know, I feel like you're definitely... You're manifesting happiness. You're manifesting abundance. You're manifesting you're happily ever after. You know? And I'm... I <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. Look. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Page of Wands. So, whatever that you're manifesting, I feel like it's very passionate. It's some kind of new ideas that are coming forward for you that are going to bring you a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction, a lot of abundance. You have the abundance card like three times in this reading. There's so much abundance coming in for you. And I feel like it's going to bring you so much happiness, so much clarity on your situation. You have the Ace of Swords twice. I feel like this is double confirmation that you're going through a breakthrough. Something is coming forward that's going to be very surprising for you. You're definitely not expecting this. Um, so this is beautiful, beautiful energy, Virgo. You'll have to tell me in the comment section what happens. Um... But I feel like this is beautiful energy. And it's going to bring you a lot of stability. You're going to have a lot of growth. This is worth investing in. You know. With this King of Pentacles energy. This is you landing on solid ground. Becoming more stable. Becoming more uh, fruitful. I don't know what this... Whoa. Whoa. You took me on a journey with this one, Virgo. I'm going to tell you. I mean, at first your reading was all over the place. But I feel like this is beautiful. This is beautiful energy. This is definitely a new beginning, a new flow for you. So I'm going to go ahead and end it there for you, Virgo. Enjoy your new beginning. 
and let me know in the comments what it is that is so fruitful for you I want to know um, and Virgo if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your Sun Moon and Rising as I upload them um, I'm gonna be uploading today and tomorrow so Virgo until your next reading many blessings to you love and light